Here we are at Gilling Bay's beach in the coastal town of Falmouth. This is one of the most popular beaches in Cornwall. Each year, millions of visitors walk these rocky shorelines. But how many of us stop to notice the wild dramas happening right under our feet? The gravitational pull of the moon and sun causes high and low tide twice a day. As the tide recedes, pools of water are left exposed and isolated. Oxygen and salt levels fall dramatically as water temperature rises, creating one of the most extreme environments on Earth for the animals trapped here until the sea returns. So what's the secret to survival in such harsh conditions? When predator and prey are trapped together like this in one tiny little pool, concealment is everything. I'm surrounded by this seaweed known as bladder rack. It's easily identified by these small air-filled bladders. If you look closely, you might see these little sea snails known as flat periwinkles. Flat periwinkles are often found on bladder rack, and there's a distinct reason for this. These sea snails nibble their way across different seaweeds on the shoreline in the time between the tides. They have gills and breathe dissolved oxygen underwater, but they also have the advantage of staying out in open air for long periods of time. With their smooth, rounded shell, a similar color to the seaweed, they blend in perfectly with the air bladders and hope to stay hidden from predators. But periwinkles aren't the only masters of disguise here. The common shore crab is a predator of periwinkles. They are mainly scavengers, feeding on dead animals and plants, but they will also hunt small creatures. Shore crabs, however, have their own predators to worry about. In order to survive, the shore crabs must avoid being spotted they rely on high contrast patterns to break up the appearance of their body outline. Seabirds often patrol the rocky coasts, and a crab makes the perfect snack. safe for now. So we've seen how the flat periwinkle and the common shore crab use their specially adapted shapes and colours to blend in. Some species, however, use a slightly different approach. Common prawns often live in groups and are a vital part of the marine food chain. They can be hard to spot. Their transparent bodies mean they are nearly invisible in the water, so they can match everything in their surroundings. This is the common prawn's main defense against predators, like the rock goby. Sometimes, this camouflage technique means they can go completely undetected. As you can see, the art of concealment is vital for these creatures enduring such difficult conditions. But there's no rest for the weary, as these trials will only begin again when the tide turns. There's a fly just went in my house. Um, a salmon. This is one of the <laughs> visitors. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Go stand over there. <laughs> Bye. 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. Start over. That Cut. Was... Oh my god, do you do dance? <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Keep going back. Oh! <laughs> Camouflage, 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 camouflage. <laughs> Ew. Ew. <laughs> camouflage. <laughs>
<laughs> oh. oh.